Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Bianca Janelle. I make videos on lifestyle. I do skincare videos, makeup tutorials, hauls, but today we have a hair tutorial. On this look right here, I am testing out the Hot Tools 2 inch barrel. I love it. It definitely gives you that 90s hair vibe. It's definitely bouncy, a lot of volume. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so like I said in the intro, we are going over the Hot Tools 2 inch curling iron. I am so excited about this. I actually haven't seen anyone use this. I was just on Amazon looking at new curling irons or wands because I wanted to test something out new for this channel and I saw a 2 inch barrel and I've never seen one like that that's pretty big. My biggest barrel is 1 and a fourth, no, 1 and a half inch. That's usually the one I use every day, so I'm super excited about this one. So let's go ahead and get it started. I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so it does have a little clasp for it to rest, and then you switch the button on. It goes from 280 to 430 degrees. I'm going to put mine at 430 because I know my hair can handle this heat. Um, in previous videos, I've mentioned if you don't know how much heat your hair can tolerate, always start on the lowest setting and then build it up you don't want your hair falling off and 430 degrees is very very hot like i said i just know that my hair is thick and it can withstand it but if you're not sure what your hair can handle start on a low setting and even with this being a new curling iron i probably you know i probably should just start at like 400 because just in case and then i'll probably move it up so you know what? i'm gonna go ahead and start it that looks at about like 400 degrees so i'm gonna put that down that that Oh, actually, before I put it down, look how big <laughs> this barrel is. That's huge. <laughs> um, I'm super excited to use this. So the reason why I bought this one was because mm, I think it was last week's video. I'll link it above. I did like a 90 styling where I used where I used rollers and I just created a lot of volume in my hair. So I wanted a really big barrel to hopefully do the same thing. Um, I don't expect my hair to be curly. Like that's kind of what I'm trying to get away from. I just want like a light wave to it. You can see my hair is straight. I did put in my extensions for this video, um, but I left them pretty straight so you can see. So my hair is already kind of like blended in with them. So yeah, so this is my hair naturally. So you can see it's just super straight. The only things I have put in my hair so far um, I put this Paul Mitchell Extra Body Boost. This gives you a lot of volume. You can see that I pretty much have some volume on both sides. Um, I love this stuff. I spray this right when I get out of the shower and before I blow dry my hair. This provides a lot of natural boost. And then to thicken up my hair, like yes, I have extensions, but just to thicken up my own hair, I then go in with this Paul Mitchell Extra Body Thicken Up. It's just like a gel and I run through. I run this through my hair. Um, I just feel like that gives me a lot of like, again, a lot of natural volume. So even when I don't have my extension, that's usually just what I put in my hair. So those are the only two products I have in my hair right now. To style my hair, I'm using my Holy Grails. I like using the Aussie Headstrong Volume Hairspray and then the Chi and Viral 54 Hairspray. These are my favorite. Um, so let's go ahead and go over a couple of details. So I'm going to show you how to use a curling iron. I mean, it's pretty standard. Um, I've done a ton of hair tutorials on it, but I'm going to show you how I do it and then I'll show you how I style it. I kind of just want to keep it straight and long, so hopefully this is kind of what I get from it. Um, so a little bit about it, it says pulse technology gets hot, stays hot. So it, so it heats up fast, instant, and then instant heat recovery. It maintains constant, even heat while you style. So it does say that it heats up in 30 seconds. That's fast. I like that. I'm a girl on the go, so I like when it heats up pretty fast. And it does have 24 gold surface, which provides an even heat distribution and is ideal for all hair types. Consistent heat helps create long-lasting, beautiful, loose waves, and that's all I want. Usually, when I curl my hair, I do have it pretty curly, so I'm actually looking forward to having something a little bit different. Um, like I said, I'm super excited to use this. And I love Hot Tools. Hot Tools are some of my favorite curling irons. They last a long time. They're just really great quality and they're really good on your hair. So I'm excited that I got my hands on this one. Um, 
I think we're gonna go ahead and section off our hair because I have a lot of hair with my extensions. So let me go to the clip. So before we section off our hair, I just want to show you what the curl would look like and how I like to curl my hair. Um, so I just grab a piece. And this is my natural hair. There's no, there's extension right there. But this is actually just my natural hair. So I'm going to grab it. What I like to do is I clamp on and I twist it on top. So that way there's a lot of heat towards the top. And then I just drag it down and I curl. And then I leave it there for you know, like 10 seconds. It is a little bit heavier than the standard curling iron. I think because of the 2 inch barrel. So just a warning. And then you're left with this loose wave. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> um, like I said, I usually have my hair super curly. It's really rare that I wear it straight. But I like it like this because I feel like it's still pretty straight. It just has a bit of volume, a bit of body to it. So that's exactly what I wanted. I really like that. Usually my curl is even tighter than this. But this one's like nice and loose. I really like that. That's really pretty. So we're going to go ahead and section off our hair. I think I'm just going to section off in two sections today. This hair has some extension in it. Um, where's my natural hair? Right there's my natural hair. I like curling it all together. So I clamp it and then I twist because that's where it's going to provide a lot of volume. And I love that right here there's a lot of space to have to be able to hold it so that way it's not hot. Because like I said it is heavy so I feel like you can kind of get a grip on here. This black part right here isn't hot at all. And then you're just left with this loose wave. I really like this. This isn't as curly as my previous video that I just shared with you guys. Um, like on my 90s hairstyle. This is going to be a little bit more straight. Just a little bit more movement to it. But I really like this. I'm really enjoying it. And if you, like I said, if you watch any of my previous hairstyling videos, I don't like my curls to be the same way. So I alternate. So the previous one, I curled it to the front. This one, I am curling to the back. And then there you go. You can see there's just kind of just like a body and volume to it. I really like that. I feel like that's a little bit more modern than... than and then just like the average tighter curl. So for my bottom layers, I always like to spray with the Aussie hairspray because I feel like it holds better. And then my top layers, I like using the Chi one because I feel like I can get a lot more movement out of it. So I'm just going to curl this bottom section just like the way I did on this previous one. And I'll check back in with you guys. Okay, so I just finished curling this part right here. You can see I'm going to go ahead and turn my curling iron all the way to 430. Like I said, I know that my hair can withstand the heat. Um, I'm going to just now spray this bottom section. I like starting with the back side first. You can see I clamp on to give it that volume and then I loosen it up to get all my hair in there and then I just hold it. And then same thing, I'm going to take another back piece right here. And this curling iron is pretty big, so I feel like you can put a lot of hair in the curling iron as well. What you could even do to give your hair more volume is before you curl it, go ahead and tease it. Um, but like I said, between all the boosting products that I use, I like the volume of my hair already, so I'm okay with it. Um, but just if you wanted that extra volume, you could easily tease it at the root and then go ahead and curl your hair. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. I don't want to bore you guys. I already showed you guys how to use it. So let me finish up this side and I'll show you how it looks and then I'll move on to this side. Okay, so I finished curling this side. So you can see a dramatic difference. This side's very volumized. 
the side's still very straight. So I actually really like this. Like I said, it still looks pretty straight. You can just tell that there's like this little curl to it that kind of just gives it this bounce and this volume. I really like it. I know I said in my last video that that was probably going to be my way to curl my hair from now on, but I think I'm going to stick with this curl iron for the most part. Like I said, that previous one I just did with the rollers, I love the volume it gives. It just, it's something different, but my hair was still kind of curly. Um, but I use different size rollers, so I'm actually kind of curious to see what my hair would look like using this size barrel with the big roller. So if you guys want to see that video, let it, um, if you guys want to see that video, leave it in the comments down below because I am pretty curious. But I like the way this looks. This is very different from how I normally do my hair. Like I said, my curls are usually tighter. Um, so for it to be like this loose, I really like it. So let me go ahead and finish up this side and we'll close out the video. Okay, so I just finished this side, so let me spray it. I'm obsessed with this curling iron. I think it is bomb. <laughs> I'm super excited. I love the way my hair looks. I'll go ahead and turn around for you guys so you can see it's still very straight. And there's just so much volume to it and that's what I like um yeah but you know what I actually haven't even used this hairspray yet this hairspray provides a lot of volume too so I like keeping it I like keeping this one more at the roots you can see it still has a lot of volume it still kind of gives you that 90-esque vibe because it's not super curly it's just more straight with a light curl a little bounce to it I love it. I'm super obsessed. If you guys want to shop this curling iron, I will link it down below for you guys. I just bought mine off of Amazon. Um, I think it was $45. Definitely worth it. Like I said, Hot Tools is one of my favorite brands for curling irons. <laughs> Their products just last a very long time, so I'm super excited about that. And now I want to know what hair tutorial you guys want to see next. I actually have a request um, with the Revlon. It's a hot brush, so it's kind of like a straightener. So I will be testing that out next. But if you guys want me to review any other hair product or tool, let me know in the comments down below. I've definitely been getting more adventurous with my hair, changing it up a bit, just styling it a little bit different. So again, if there's something you guys really like, then let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.